Auto erotic asphyxiation. All right, so we're gonna make chicken wings tonight and show you how you can do it too, because it's easy and it's better than the stuff you can get at the restaurants. All right, so here's the deal. You need a fryer, you can get yourself a fry daddy, get yourself a big cooking pot and put some oil in there and get a nice candy thermometer or some kind of good thermometer to check your temperatures. Making chicken wings is easy and it's better than going to the freaking restaurant and buying the stuff for a dollar a piece. We're gonna make two batches of wings tonight. It's probably 40 freaking chicken wings and it costs eight bucks. Then we're gonna season it with Maryland's Pride, Old Bay, and J.O., and we're gonna try some J.O. chicken flavor. We're gonna do it up. It's gonna be crispy, juicy on the inside, and let's knock this thing out. So here's batch one. We preheated the oil to 275, and depending on the size of your wings, these are kinda, sm actually kinda smallish, and they're gonna shrink down as you cook them. A lot of water weight, but depending on the size of your wings for your first cook, um, 275 for five or six minutes is gonna be perfect for these wings. All we're trying to do is make it so the skin starts bubbling. What you're doing is breaking down proteins and causing the skin's molecular structure, the molecular structure, to become like crusty, for lack of a better term. But let's throw these bad boys in here and get cook number one, match number one going. And we'll see. So you don't so you don't want to overcrowd your basket. One, these wings are kind of cold. So putting too many wings in the basket at a time is gonna knock the temperature of your oil down and you gotta fight against that time-wise to make it do what you want it to do. Number two, overcrowding the basket, you'll leave spots where stuff is stuck together and that inside zone's not gonna cook. We don't wanna do that either, you know what I'm saying? So let's get these puppies going. Gross. So the first cook at 275 for five, six minutes, depending on the size of your wings. You get them jumbo deals, might have to go six or seven minutes, but all you're really just parboiling it. Um, you're kind of just blanching it, making it so that the skin tempers itself and becomes ready for the second hard quick cook. So when you finish, you didn't have to batter it. You didn't have to uh, do, you know, do the wet mix, do the dry mix, do the wet mix, do the dry, and get that coating on there like fried chicken or anything like that. It's gonna be as crispy as that. It's gonna taste better than that. And you didn't have to do any of that gross nonsense. You're literally just cooking it once, low and slow, and then cooking it a second time hard and fast. And then we're gonna sprinkle Old Bay and J.O. and stuff on it, and it's freaking delicious. So what I like to do after the first cook, since we have two batches to do, we got a batch in here right now, we got a second batch on deck. Um, you can use a paper bag if you have it. It helps uh, run the oil off a little bit better than paper, uh, paper towels. But I just use paper towels. It's the first cook. We don't have to worry about it being so oily after this one. We really want to worry about it after the next one. But even then, paper towels work fine. Um, so we're getting ready to come off of here from our first cook of batch number one. And then we'll put that on here, let it rest while we cook batch two. And the coolest part is you could do this yesterday. So you've got a bunch of people coming over tomorrow. You can get the first cook, your, your parboil cook out of the way the night before. It's like um, Thanksgiving dinner type things. You can um, do this first cook. This is the longer of the two. Do the first cook the night before, and then you got hot, flash fried, cooked, ready, delicious, crispy, dry rub, sprinkled, Old Bay dusted chicken wings for your guests in three minutes. You know what I'm saying? So you could put this, you could do these a week ahead of time. Do them batch by batch, put them in the fridge, let them sit for a couple days. All right, so that looks good. Just kind of fluff out the oil a little bit in the uh, basket. But see, they're just they're just parboiled. We haven't really done anything, but do you see like the bubbliness of the skin starting to form around the edges and stuff? That's what's gonna give you your crispiness after the flash fry second cook. Yeah, Three, 
two, one. one. <laughs> All right, so we got the oil heated up to 375. Uh, I got a shorty of Galaxy Queen. Uh, a shorty? Those are the unsellable. Look, not much. I'll show you what a shorty is. That's a shorty. It's an unsellable beer, so it's a perk of the job of working at a brewery. It is. I want you guys to see how short this is. This is short. That's short, right? Right. See? How beautiful that is. Mm. What it tastes like. Back to the wings. All right, we got our oil at 375. <clears throat> We're ready to do round two of cooking these jokers. We're gonna heat them up, cook them off. Do two rounds again. This is a lot of wings for this small fryer. And then three, three and a half minutes. Again, depending on the size of the wings, these will probably be three and a half minutes. Um, but let's get this going. And then we're gonna dust them with Old Bay dry rub and make it happen. All right, you ready for this? Can you hear that? Do you hear this? Are you excited? Are you getting excited with me? Let's do this. All right, so we're gonna go three and a half minutes. Chris, if you would do the honors of a timer. Then we're gonna set up another plate. Look how greasy it's so. That's why you get that grease, you let it rest. Get that grease in this out of here. We'll run these puppies for three and a half minutes. Then we're gonna dry rub, and let it cool off a little bit, and we're gonna eat like kings. You did it all yourself. It cost you eight bucks, 10 bucks total, when you add your little uh, dry sprinkles on. And you're eating better than a restaurant? We'll take this uh, take a quick second just to thank Billy Sammons, our oh, title sponsor of the show. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, Billy's kind of like a local legend. He is right? an amazing guy. So if you need any real estate stuff, um, if you just want to have some fun watching Instagram, he put he posts on Instagram more than anybody. He he was at a he was at a house the other day. They had two. I saw it. He had they had too many. Uh, they were renovating a kitchen, and they had too many kitchen tiles. Like for the backsplash for the sink yeah. and the, you know. Because I put it in. So cooking way. Like, it's not so. And he, they had extra. So they tiled the bathroom with it. <laughs> and he was just chuckling about it. And so it's a great way to learn about home improvement. Yes. Um, value of your home. Stupid stuff you can do to your backyard to raise the value of your home. So if you want to sell it off in a year, take these three steps and do that. Yeah. And you make an extra 30 grand or whatever. The guy is a brilliant, brilliant, amazing dude. Check the description below. Look right here. I think we can do that. We do it right here. We do it top, right? I think. Cool. We'll put a link for him. Billy also runs Live Local Maryland. Yes. Uh, which is super cool. He focuses on local small businesses within Coward County. Um, just, just to prove it. I mean, he literally does it just to grow his area. That's it. Like, yep. hey, let's everybody grow together. And he does a phenomenal job. Um, he's got a cool little podcast out. He's he, he's doing it all. Man. He does it he's all. So. Find him on Facebook. Find him on Instagram. He's probably doing TikTok. I don't probably. Know. <laughs> he probably does it. Dude, he does it all, man. So. So follow him. He's a huge title sponsor for us. Um, he helps us do the things we do so that you guys can have a fun time watching, learning, and enjoying. Right? So cheers, yeah. Billy. Cheers, Billy. Again, hey. One more time. Link right here. Can we do it? Yeah, I think time? so. One more time there. If we can't do it right here, we're going to put link look below. Look at below. Thank you so much. Click subscribe. Guys, make sure you guys are following this. Follow Billy. Follow Beer Masters. We love you. Thanks. Let me work. Let's cheers in. Let's do it again. One more time. Not shot. Okay. Do you see how crispy these are? Do you see how crispy these are? Oh, Chris, Chris, it couldn't be more exciting for you. Mm. I'm excited. I eat these damn things all the time. I'm excited to have it. That crisp. I know. Oh, 
he does it every time. Oh, there goes another layer skin. Dang. There's two layers. All right, skin. so, so all right, so this is what I was talking about. See how see how it sticks to the basket a little bit? Do you see this? I should have shook it up more through the process of flash cooking it, but it's okay. But we learn. We do. What was that, Jay? We over. Can I get we... that face in? <laughs> all right. So now that that first batch is done, do you see how crispy these guys are? They're literally just crunching right now. You want to, while they're still kind of wet, you want to put your spices on, right? So we're going to do a mix of J.O. number one, J.O. number two, and Old Bay for this round. And then the, the batch we have going on in there right now, we'll do half and half of the same Old Bay J.O. treatment. And then we get to try chicken dust. Hot so it's crunchy. I can't breathe. But look how look how clean and soft the inside is. You guys cook. Oh these, God. You guys cook them well. Do wow. that. It's amazing. I know. Honest, when I cook these, honestly, they're God. fantastic. Honestly, God. tonight we feast. Mm -hmm. God darn, that's good. You guys, mm -hmm. just do this. What did that take? 15 minutes? And you made your one? own. That was amazing. Try that, I'll try this. <laughs> no, how is it? Better than green turtle. It's really good. Cold, and how is it? Amazing. Man, how is it? My lips hurt because it's spicy and my lips are chapped. Riley, how is it? Yum yum sauce, bros. <laughs> <laughs> Burmashes.com.